Electrogrammatics is a general theory about similarities between electromagnetic and gravitational fields. The version that interests me posits a gravitomagnetic property of the gravitational field that is distinguished from the more familiar relativistic frame dragging postulated by Einstein and experimentally confirmed. I believe there is a much stronger inertial component involved that might be revealed with the experiment given here, or something very similar to it. In any case, the hypothesis is falsifiable, without great expense, possibly less than a million dollars, and not tens of millions, as is often the case in large-scale government-driven experiments. Thus, the private sector can do a failed experiment, far more cheaply than the government. Who would have guessed? The experiment will have to be done in a vacuum because moving parts can generate unexpected air currents, adding too much noise to an effect that may be hard to detect in a noisy environment. I mean hard, but certainly not next to impossible. If it's there, it will be detected with only moderate difficulty. What I propose to do is rotate two rings in opposite directions in the same plane one within the other. One ring will have a positive electric charge on it and the other the opposite. When rotated, they will produce magnetic fields with the same orientation and the proposed gravitomagnetic effect will reinforce such that a test mass suspended from a balance and in the center of the rings will lose or gain mass noticeably. That is, the balance will move one way or the other. You can see why there can be no air currents. A delicate balance could be upset and yield a false reading. To get falsified properly, there must be no air currents. The test mass material must also not respond to any magnetic field, neither one changing nor a constant magnetic field. It must be electrically neutral, of course as well as non-metallic. The reason for this is the effect noted by observers of UFOs, that water or objects beneath the craft have been observed to levitate or become weightless. Clearly, there must be two aspects to UFO propulsion systems if the UFO is hovering while levitating matter beneath it. We're introducing contrary vectors here. It's doubtful that the same gizmo that pushes down also pulls up at the same time. On the other hand, we don't know anything, so maybe I'm wrong here. Well, that's what experiments are for. We ask Mother and get the final word on the matter. Ask Mother Nature anything at all, and you'll get the truth, provided that you formulated your question logically. Here's the cross-section of the rings. The pointy side collects the charge. The round side is as little charge as possible. The rotation can be driven by an electric motor. How they are suspended is up for grabs. The rings must be electrically insulated so that the static charge doesn't drain through the motor or suspension mechanism. The charge must be as large as possible and the velocity of rotation as high as possible and the balance with the test mass as delicate as possible. This would be the same effect detected by Podkletnov, if he actually detected it. I don't think superconductivity is required to make this observable. You can perhaps see that with experienced personnel, this isn't going to break any multimillionaire's bank. It'll be chump change to prove or disprove. This experiment may have been done already, but I don't think so, as there is no motive to do it. What would anyone in the past expect to get? It would have been considered an irrational experiment, with no possible unknowns in the outcome. There really aren't all that many experiments one can do in the UFO propulsion field. There might be only a half dozen or so that are qualitatively different. They all involve magnetic fields, rotation, and superconductivity or superfluidity. What else is there? 
may be relativistic effects for small amounts of matter rotating in a ring. The stuff we can do is greatly diminished by the paucity of principles that can be productively performed by perspicacious and persistent propulsion experimenters, particularly in projects involving peculiar and unpredictable phenomena, like flying saucers. <laughs>